See, I know we just did this like last week, but there's another trailer already. So we're back this time with magic. See, <laughs> last time I reacted to a trailer, it was the Sims 4 mosquito stuff. It was like last week, um, very controversial, but this time, the Sims 4 Realm of Magic is supposedly coming out soon. They teased a little gif of like a portal yesterday on Twitter and then they were like, oops, news coming tomorrow. And we were all like, what? But you just did that like four days ago. <laughs> like we just had a new pack come out last week and they're already teasing the next one. And so I don't really know when it's coming out for sure. We'll, we'll find out in a second, but we're gonna react to the trailer of the Sims 4 Realm of Magic pack. Now I do have a story about this because they announced it months ago back in June at EA Play. They were like, hey guys, <laughs> we have like three packs we're gonna announce right now. And they announced Island Living, everyone freaked out. They announced Mosquito Stuff, nobody cheered. And then Realm of Magic and everyone lost their minds. Like keep in mind, we were we're here at this stage live at EA Play watching SimGuru Lindsay kind of announce these things and again <laughs> mosquito stuff dead silence but then when they announced the magic pack everyone was like yes witches because everyone's really excited about the idea of witches wizards I don't know which one I don't I don't know what we're getting in the pack yet but people are pretty pumped about it myself included because listen I know that I complain a lot about occults in the Sims but that's because I think vampires are stupid. Wizards, however, <laughs> I'm as big of a Harry Potter fan as the next guy, okay? When I was a child, like elementary school, I cannot express to you how much of a Harry Potter stan I was. Still am, but like, it was bad then. I'm, I'm normal now, okay? I'm fine, I'm not a freak anymore. But <laughs> I've always loved the idea of like witches and wizards and stuff. And I'm more open to the concept of that in The Sims than like, vampire freaks, which I think is normal, you know, like most of us love a good Harry Potter but are not fans of Twilight, you know, unless you are, in which case I'm sorry, but I don't relate to you. <laughs> but yeah, I like very vocally despise vampires, the aliens in The Sims 4, mermaids were kind of stupid, like I just wasn't into it. But this pack, I am excited for, especially the world and the bill items. I'm hoping for something really good. So with all that being said, we should watch the trailer finally, maybe, and it will rant more in a second, I promise, but for now, we will watch the trailer because magical news coming soon. I don't know what to expect. Yeah. Oh. Lava. What could that be? <laughs> oh, I like this a lot already. Wait, wait. Are those brooms? Oh my God, this is better than I thought it was gonna be. All right, that's an ugly house. We'll have to fix that. This looks so fun! The animations too! I... I'm sorry, did you guys see that? Because... Hmm. Wait, I'm gonna press learn more. I don't... <laughs> I need more information before I can make my final decisions because I have a lot of things to say. Also, September 10th. That's soon. Welcome to Glimmerbrook. Ooh. <laughs> It's a quiet town, family homes, places to hang out, a dense wooded area with a mysterious pathway. Wait, what is back there, Simmer? Where could this not-so-secret secret trail- I love the not-so-very challenge. This not-so-secret secret- secret, secret <laughs> sorry. <laughs> secret trail possibly lead. Well, if your Sim has a bit of adventure in their personality, they'll want to know. And what they'll discover is a world unlike any other in The Sims 4. First, a quick warning, once your Sim goes through that portal door, they won't be able to unsee this enchanted world, and they certainly won't want to leave without learning a few spells. Wait, 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 wait. So it's like a normal town, right? And once you go through that portal, it's like poof, magic? Because then what you're saying is, I can opt in, as in like, I don't get any Strangerville mess. Like, it doesn't have to be strange. If I want it to be normal, it can be, and then I can choose to be a witch freak, because that's what I need. This is what I've wanted for a long time, is like Strangerville, if it had like a portal to make it straight, not a portal, but like something that like turns on the strange, so it's normal until I choose for it not to be, that's what I want, and it sounds like that's what this is. Like, you have to go through the portal to make this world a freak world, and 
that's the kind of thing we're looking for here. Getting crafty. Speaking of spells, who better to learn magic from the best from than the... Let's try again. Who better to learn magic from than the best? Once through the portal, Sims can meet wizards who might just teach them a thing or two. Plus, Sims can get experimental with a giant cauldron, collect elements to make interesting potions, and even test their skills against other aspiring spellcasters. This is gonna be good. Wicked good. <laughs> also, wardrobe for wizardry. Creating spells is great and all, but don't forget about the dressing the blah, 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 blah. I'm getting too excited to read. <laughs> about dressing the part. To get your sim in the magic-making spirit, they can don cloaks, celestial dresses, accessories, and more to blend in with other spellcasters or stand out among the crowd. What will your sim be wearing when they master the recipe for the love potion? <gasps> love potion or finish that challenging quest? Hang on. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay, well, I don't really care about the clothes. I care more about the, the build stuff, but it sounds like the world, first of all, we saw it with our own two eyes. Okay, we know, well, there's more than just two eyes watching this. Mm. Aside from this build, super cute. Like, love it. Also, oh my god, hang on, before we get too crazy, do you see her earrings? I didn't even notice that. Wait, look at her. She has more than one piercing. How long have we needed this for? Thank god. Also, she's got like a cute little face tattoo kind of thing going on. Yeah, her earrings and the necklace is kind of fun. And she's got more than one, like the fancy rings. And let's just look at these build things, like these stained glass windows. Let's probably like, I don't know, kind of pause a little bit and look around at the build stuff because this way we can see like there's crazy magic stuff and also just like funky, I don't know, gothic kind of spooky things and the stained glass windows are so fun. I love that. I've wanted that kind of thing for so long. And like I said, the animations are so cool. I'm so excited about this. This is so much cooler than I ever imagined. Cause like, I guess vampires are cool in The Sims 4. Like it's a very well done pack. I will admit this. Vampires is a very well done pack and a very well done occult. I just don't care about them. Like I don't really have any interest in playing with vampires. However, I really want to play with witches. <laughs> like that's so cool. And it sounds like the world's gonna be really nice too. Like it sounds like it's a normal world, but then you can make it fun and, and magical. Like when you watch the trailer, it looks like a very normal, cute little town. And then he, well, town is a strong word, forest. And then he walks that portal and it becomes magic spookyville like that magic spookyville is a weird thing to say but maybe it like takes him i don't really get what they mean by you can't unsee it but this i'm excited to hear more like what a weird world i don't know and the town looks like look at this little town i love that i'm so, and there's like a potion shop and like a broom store this is just it's so fun i'm so excited and it looks like ghosts work at all the stores i just i don't know like they i'm sorry i can't get over this build i'm getting distracted but this is horrible <laughs> You just can't deny it. I don't mean to like, I'm not trying to shame you guys on your trailer because it's a very well done trailer, but like who built this? Come on. Like with all these cool things that you have and you could have made this crazy gothic looking witchy house and you made this. Again, I'm not trying to be rude, but like, come on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll be nice, I will. I just, wait, <laughs> guys, don't worry. I'll renovate it. <laughs> also, do you guys see this bridge leading up to it? I mean, I, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this. This is so fun. This is the kind of thing that's like, not something I ever thought I wanted before now. Because whenever people talk about- Wait, 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 her hair! Wait, 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 wait. Where's that girl in the yellow dress? Her hair! That's so cute! Okay, I'm pretty excited. Okay, like I was saying, I, this is something I never thought I wanted in The Sims. Because I've always been so anti-occult. Like, ooh, vampires? Stupid. Aliens? Stupid. Mermaids? Stupid. And now that we're getting witches, I'm like, wait. <laughs> wait, I love Harry Potter. Wait. I don't know if you guys can see, but look at the- right there! I've got Harry! I have another one of him, too. Where is he? He's right there, too, in a hat with a sorting hat on. I love Harry Potter! Okay. I'm really excited about this. This is really cool. And September 10th is not that soon, but kind of soon. Also, this would not be a Lil Simsy trailer reaction without a small rant because, oh my God, I, it's, okay, how do I put this nicely? I saw some of the most ridiculous complaints on Twitter yesterday when they posted the teaser. Can I show you this for a second? The Sims Twitter posted this teaser yesterday, okay? It's literally just a gif of the portal. There's nothing in this. You have, you would have no clue what this is just by looking at it. Like you can't, it's just a portal. Like you can't tell anything about the pack. Obviously we know for a fact it was gonna be Roman Magic because they announced this pack in June at EA Play. We knew for a fact we were getting a magic pack this fall. They announced it at EA Play, right? And so we knew this pack was coming. We've known since June. And still people saw that portal and they were like, oh my God, is it university? And then when it wasn't, obviously they're like, oh my God, where's university? And I don't understand. <laughs> how we took 
a magical looking portal, knowing for a fact that the magic pack was next and we turned it into university. Like, how are you gonna see this and then be mad that it's not university? And also, do you really want a university game pack? Don't you want an expansion pack? <laughs> like, my head's gonna explode. I, I don't get it, I don't get it. And I said it in my last video also, but like, wouldn't you wanna have filler content in between our last expansion and the next one? Like, would you rather have no content in between them? Cause like, I'm guessing, okay? Obviously, I don't know for a fact, but given last year's release schedule, I'm fairly certain we're gonna get another pack this year at the end of the year. What is it gonna be? I don't know. I'm, I'm imagining we'll get an expansion pack this year. Could be university for all we know. I don't want a university game pack. I want a full expansion pack. So when they give me a game pack in between, I get excited because there's like more content in between like the summer and November, December, Jan like who knows, January maybe? Like sometime next, like, I my head's gonna explode. <laughs> and also, to top it off, we knew it would be a magic pack. So when they announce a teaser that looks like this, and people in the comments are still like, oh my god, where's university? I just... <laughs> We've known since June. I'm fine. Can I look at the comments really fast? Am I gonna get upset if I look at the comments? Who knows? Let's find out. Oh, cool. People are being nice. <laughs> Never mind. We're fine. It's fine. People are being nice. False alarm. And oh my god, Deli made a joke about this pack in like university and like, oh my god, bet it's university, like kind of making a joke about it. And I replied to her tweet and people in all the replies were taking it seriously. Guys, it's a magic pack. We've known for months. Guys, <laughs> my head's gonna explode again. I'm fine, I'm sorry. But also I saw people talking about how they wish that people, I've noticed this with every pack we get. There's very unrealistic expectations about what comes in a pack. Like with mosquito stuff, they're like, I hope there's gonna be a new world. There should have been like seven careers. And it was a stuff pack. Like you're not gonna get a new world and more than one career in a stuff pack. Like there are limits to how much content can go into one pack. And so obviously with the mosquito stuff pack, I think that was a very, very well done stuff pack. Possibly one of the best stuff packs is to, in terms of like gameplay and build mode content, right? Cass is lacking stupid content, just like, I don't know, like the, the idea of it's dumb, right? But like the actual content in it as far as gameplay stuff goes, awesome. That's like the perfect, most ideal stuff pack. I said it before, but it like adds on to an existing part of our game, makes it fully expanded, makes it super cool. It's kind of niche, but if you want it, you love it. Like that's the perfect stuff pack and it has the right amount of content, I think. And then a game pack, obviously this game pack seems like it might have two worlds. It has a whole new occult system gameplay thing expanded, it has all kinds of clothes and build out objects. This is the perfect size for a game pack. And people that are like, we should have gotten fairies also. Guys, let's be realistic again about our content expectations. And also, would you rather have like half done fairies and half done witches or like mega super awesome fully done witches? Cause like if, if fairies and witches were like how they did mermaids in Island Living, people would have been so mad. Like mermaids kind of suck. Right? But if they're gonna make some super cool witches that are very fully expanded, I don't care about fairies. I'll take my awesome witches. I don't know. I think this is a very well done pack. Obviously, I've only seen a minute long trailer and I don't really know what to expect other than that. But I'm excited for more information and I'm very excited about this game. And look at this little world. This is so pretty. And I <sighs> I'm really excited. This looks like, I mean, I bet it's gonna be small, but this world looks beautiful and like it might be one of my favorites so far. I don't know. I've got I've got good vibes from it. I feel pretty excited about it. This pack looks very good. I feel very optimistic. Me, Little Miss Hates a Colts Vampire Freak Simsy. I'm excited about this pack. <laughs> I'm sorry for ranting so much also. I don't know. Like I said, my head's going to explode. I just I see all these tweets and I you know, but I'm okay. <laughs> It's also a very vocal minority that does that. I, I'm aware of this, but like, it, it, my head's gonna explode. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this, you guys? Let me know in the comments down below. How excited are you? I think it's very weird that it's being announced so soon after the last pack, but also it doesn't come out until September, so it isn't that bad. Like, it, there's still a month in between them. They just announced it earlier. Cause like, stuff packs have a very fast turnaround with like a week in between the announcement and the release, but this has a month, so it's not like they're posting two packs like right in a row, you know? Cause if they had, had them release like, within two weeks of each other, that'd be very odd. Like, we don't have that kind of money, EA, but it's not, so it's fine. <laughs> anyway, did I cover it all? All over the place. I know, I realize this, I'm sorry. But on that note, I am gonna cut off right here, you guys. Like I said, let me know in the comments, what do you think about this? Nope. What do you think about this pack? I'd love to hear your thoughts, but make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day, and so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.
I'm gonna be honest, you guys, I kind of felt myself tearing up a bit when I saw screenshots of this pack earlier today and seeing the trailer and like the animations. It's so fun. I'm so excited. I'm so excited.